Hello everyone, welcome to Lever Guns 50. Today we're going to shoot this big old 1886 Winchester. We're going to shoot it with black powder with these uh, the original load, and this is the black powder we're using in it. And uh, that's 2F black powder. And we're going to use the original type of loads. And uh, this is a 300 grain bullet on 110 grains of black powder. And uh, the gun also come in 5100 450, which this is a 450 grain bullet on 100 grains of black powder. And we're going to shoot that. We're going to shoot them across the chronograph and into this ballistic material and kind of just get an idea of how well they did back in the day. So we're going to shoot this 1886 Winchester in caliber 5110 across the chronograph into the ballistic material and just kind of see what it what it would have done with the original loads. Okay, that was 1580, which is still not quite 1600 feet a second, which is what Winchester said I think there's should have went. So, okay, so I mean, it's putting a big, a big wound channel in there. So let's keep on trucking through here and see how far it goes. There's keep on going. Still going. Still going. Still going. Now, those of you that watch the videos a lot know that the uh, that 300 grain bullet with the smokeless load does not go through this much. But it also expands really good because it's going 2,800 feet a second. And this is not even going 2,000 feet a second. So you can figure this is going a lot slower. But look how far. I mean, if we set all this back up. If you look at the distance that it goes through, I mean, that's over two feet. Not much ever goes through that much, but that little 300 grain bullet just keeps on trucking. Okay. Let's uh, shoot one of these 405 grain bullets and see how she does. gotta admit that that 405 grain bullet with smoke with black powder it kicks probably about as bad as most of those loads with smokeless powder Winchester always said that the black powder had quite a bit of recoil Wow man that joker was going fast at 1570 feet a second Might have shot, might have shot low looking at that. 1,570 feet a second. I'm gonna have to load up another one and shoot it and just see if it, that seems wrong. Cause that's almost the same speed as the 300 grain bullet. I don't know why the 450 grain bullet be going that fast. Ooh. Hmm. 
Come all the way out there. You know, I think it did. It looks like that hole's broken out bigger. That bullet come all the way through. Hmm. I don't know if we'll be able to find it. I'm going to turn this board like this. And we're going to go load up another one and check it out. And see if that was a fluke. Being 1570 FPS. I mean, I used a different brand of powder. So maybe that Swiss powder or whatever is a little bit faster. We'll try it again and see if we get a different result or the same. There's where that bullet come on through, right there. A lot of recoil still. I don't know if it's hard as last time, but all right, fifteen twenty-five. So fifteen seventy and fifteen twenty-five. Remember that bad boy's coming in. We did add a couple more layers, hoping, hoping that it would stop it. But it did, oh, wait a minute. It did not stop it. Because right there is where it come out, I guess it come out. So let's look in here. See if that, nope, it went all the way through all of this cloth and kept on trucking. Made itself a new hole. It apparently went through that pair of jeans there and kept on trucking. I'm pretty sure I did not feel anything in here. So we'll try to find it over there, see if we can find it. And if we do, we'll show it to you. Okay, I was up here looking at berm for fresh marks. Then I seen a fresh mark right here, and I just dug just a little bit, and right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there. Right here is the bullet. Let's look at that bad boy. It, you know, it went all the way through all that cloth through the board, flew about another 30 yards and hit this, not 30 yards, not, not about another, I guess about another 40 feet and hit this bank. And uh, stopped right there about, I'd say about two inches into the ground. So that's a lot of power. Uh, it's going through a lot of material and it has still a lot of power left. And this is the black powder. Black powder loads.